What's up, guys? I was here with another video, and uh, I was watching a live stream discussion that was taking place, and there was a question that was asked, and it was, "Do you think that people leave the church or walk away from the faith because there's just so much stuff that's going on in the church that's going on unchecked, like there is no order?" no rules, no structure or anything like that. And uh, there was a couple of people who held to the position that, yeah, that's the reason why they've actually left church. And this is what I've heard over over the years, right? Uh, you know, especially when people say that they've walked away from the church and this is why they don't uh, hold to any Christian title or, you know, just all of the talking points that we hear anyway I wanted to take some time to address that and what I want to say is that when people say those types of things um, that is a kind of a deceptive type answer and some people they may not be saying that uh, intentionally they, they may not intentionally try to be deceptive uh, and they may believe that but if they do really believe that in their hearts is kind of like self-deception because the last thing that people want is a set of rules and regulations I mean this is cleared up in the Garden of Eden right Genesis 3 uh, you guys know that I mention Genesis 3 all the time uh, because it talks about the fall the fall of man Adam and Eve did not want to be subjected by anyone even God himself. That was the only person that they had to be uh, subjected to. And what did they do? Out of their own desire to be autonomous, to, to be able to make decisions for themselves, they decided to partake in the fruit of the tree of life, which God had forbidden them to take. Right? Or, I'm sorry, the, the tree of knowledge. It wasn't the tree of life. <laughs> the tree of life was another tree, but it was actually the tree of knowledge. Uh, the tree of good and evil, um, as as some will call it. But anyway, uh, when people do say that they are looking for structure, organization, basically what they're looking for is self-affirmation. They want to be a part of a system, and they want to be a part of a set of rules that they could do so that they can kind of portray it to other people that, well, I'm righteous because... I do this, this, and this, and I go down the list and I check off all of these boxes. So that is what makes me good with God. Now, some people think that this is what is going to uh, gain favor from God, that their actions are going to get some type of favor from God. And some people do it just because they can be able to say, well, hey, I'm better than you, right? You know, I, I don't do all of these things. You may struggle or you may have problems and issues with these things, but with me I don't I don't do those things that you do so therefore I'm more righteous than you and there are people who are actually trying to buy favor or buy grace from God and some people may say well no that's that that's not what it is well we got a question now who's right is it you or is it the Bible and I'm talking to believers right now I'm not talking to atheists and uh, people who just totally have a, a disregard for the Bible I'm not talking to you guys right now but especially for those who claim that they have walked away from the church um, especially those who claim to be Hebrew Israelites you know um, so who's right you are the Bible Let, let's read Romans 3 okay and we're gonna start at verse 10 and it says uh, as it is written None is righteous, no, not one. No one understands, no one seeks for God. All have turned aside, they have become worthless. No one does good, not even one. Now that is quoted from, I believe, Psalms 53, right? So if you are a person who said that you walked away from the church or you've walked away from 
Christ because you wanted more order and structure and you went out to seek God, um, then you're actually being a liar, whether it's intentionally or unintentionally, you're either lying or the Bible is lying. That's, that's one out of the two options. There is no in between. And when we have discussions like this, you know, we have to be honest with ourselves. <clears throat> what are my motives when I decide that I don't want to be in Christ, when I don't want to be a part of a sound fellowship? Because, see, it's one thing to walk away from foolishness because you've read the Bible, you've seen the way that the church is supposed to operate, and you've gotten out of a particular church or a particular fellowship or congregation that is not biblical than to say, well, majority of the church is all trash. I'm just going to walk away and go into something else. And when a person says that that's the way that they, that's the reason why they've walked away from churches and they can't find a sound fellowship and they just rather throw the whole thing away and they've, you know, become awakened and, and, and now they got some supreme knowledge that's outside of the Bible. Um, these are people who are highly deceived. And by them being deceived, they have to be deceptive. And again, it may, it may not even be intentionally, but in order to feed that narrative, they have to have a very inconsistent worldview. Because the thing that mankind wants is freedom. Man doesn't want bondage. And just like we say over and over again, uh, the law of Moses under the old covenant, and just like the Bible says, the Bible says that the law of Moses uh, was bondage. And the reason why us Christians rejoice in Christ is because Christ gives us that freedom that we have been looking for or that we yearn for. But the problem is, is that an unregenerate man or person, male or female, when they want that self-autonomy, when they want to be able to have that sense of self-righteousness, they are going to... Uh, uh, they're, they're, they're going to have to reject Christ because Christ says that freedom is or total freedom is only in him and him alone. But when people want to do what they want to do and there's, you know, our hearts by nature contradicts Christ's completed work on the cross and the atonement for sin and his will for us. A lot of times we can be, we, we have a choice that we have to make. We're either going to follow our wicked hearts or we're going to follow Christ, who is 100% righteous. You know, he, he is the embodiment of righteousness. So what usually happens is that either we're regenerated by Christ or, uh, you know, we totally reject Christ and we are out of his will and we are not a part of his flock although we may think that we are because we're going down the box, checking things off, saying that, hey, you know, I honor my mother and father and this and that. Um, prime example of when Jesus was talking to the rich young ruler and he was asking him, hey, you know, basically, do you keep, have you kept the commandments? And he went down and he I checked, I checked all of these boxes. And Jesus said, I give you one more, sell all your possessions and come and follow me. And what did the guy do? He walked away. He walked away from the most high God in flesh because he did not want to have, uh, he wanted to be autonomous. He wanted to be self-righteous. And that is a prime example of all of us. How some of us will, and I've, I've done it. I've walked away from Christ because I wanted to do what Alton wanted to do. And I knew that whatever I wanted to do contradicted the Lord. So there was a time period to where I had to walk away or that I did walk away from, uh, you know, the faith. And, you know, and, and I claimed that I was questioning the Bible, but really I was just trying to find an excuse to continue to stay in sin. But, you know, glory be to God that he did bring me back. So basically what I want to say in this video is that anyone who claims that they've walked away from the faith or claims that they walked away from the church 
because of what they've seen going on in the church. I want you guys to be honest with yourselves. Is it really that or are you really just looking for an excuse to not be a part of the faith, to not be a part of the church? Right. Because the thing, whatever you've walked, I mean, the thing that you've walked into, whether it's Hebrew Israelism or, you know, uh, Mormonism or wh whatever, whatever you've walked into, you have to ask yourself, is there not any foolishness going on within this particular movement? Because if this particular movement that you're in is 100% pure, 100% clean, and there is no zoo, there's not a people, a bunch of people walking around here just saying a bunch of crazy stuff and doing a bunch of crazy things, and it's just 100% pure. If it's not right and exact, well, then what's your excuse for walking away from the faith? where people are perverting the name of Christ, right? But anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. You know, <clears throat> excuse me, do you think that people do have valid reasons for walking away from the faith, that the church has failed the people, and that people really do need to consider getting out of the Christian church? Or do you happen to believe that even people who pervert the name of Christ, right, they're sitting beside us in churches. They're claiming to be Christians. But that is no reason for us to walk away from the faith or abandon the fellowship. Because if we're going to have that type of energy towards the church, then that means that everything else that we get into needs to be spotless. And the only one that is spotless is Christ. So anyway, uh, as always, like this video, rate it, share it, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, and um, you guys have a blessed day.